There are three choruses that have sort of risen to the top of the zeitgeist of rack gear uh, as the big rack choruses. The first is the tri-stereo chorus, then the TC Electronic 1210, and the Roland Dimension D. So I just wanted to take a look at the ABC of these. Uh, doing ABCs is kind of a pain because how do you show it? But you know what? Let's just dive in and do it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's go. I'm jumping through some hoops to get this stereo chorus comparison going here. Going in to the Dirty Shirley side of the Shirley's Dirty Brown Eye. Coming out into the full tone tri-stereo chorus. That's splitting the signal. Going into the Dimension C. Then going into the TC-12 uh, 10. I didn't want to be pulling cables. So everything's going into each other. It just, it is what it is. From there, it's splitting back. Half of it's going back into the Friedman. The other half's going into the Fryat Power Station. They're both going into V30 cabs uh, in the other room, mic'd up with uh, just a 57 on each side. All powered by my Shabbat Lion, which uh, is, is the strat to get. So with no effect, let's see, no effect, no effect, no effect. I'm recording. All right, to the Dimension C. Uh, I like mode three the best, so that's what I'm on. That's really nice and chorusy uh, and yummy. So moving on to the TC-1210. This is like the Lukather mode. To the tri-stereo chorus, this has a preset mode, which is the cool people mode. Uh, it's just the preset. There's a manual mode that activates the knob. Oh, that's better. You could also put both on at the same time and get Ultra Chorus. Mm -hmm. 
The trick with the dimension C or and D and all of the other dimensions with those buttons is you can put multi buttons in as well. So two buttons in at the same time. nice because it's not chorusy it's just sort of wide and a little like ooh, like you put a little sauce on it but it's not going like the tri-stereo chorus tends to do the 1210 also is like dimension D the 1210 is like the dimension D and C I'm just gonna call it the D in that it's not super chorusy it's a little more widening <laughs> has like flange modes and more um, expanding mode to be fair you're supposed to switch up the parameters but uh, I don't want to do that so I just uh, do the same thing I always do which is the Lukather setting
Hopefully this shows you their flavor at least. Um, I think the 1210 is the most stable, like it's firm. Um, firm. Uh, also the dimension D's and C's are kind of like that. Um, maybe a little more chorus-y. And then the tri-stereo course is definitely the most swooshy of the bunch. Uh, it's got all the swoosh. There's a couple plugins of it that are pretty good too. Uh, just like with all of the analog choruses, plugins get close. Not uh, exactly, but they'll give you the, you know, if you're gonna put chorus, oh my God, that's what I didn't do. I didn't put all three on at the same time. All is the best. All is the best. Uh, also honorable mention to the DOD milk box compressor pedal, uh, which I was using from time to time in this. Uh, and uh, all right, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I don't know if we learned anything, but um, at least we weren't practicing. So there you go.